Hello guys, welcome back again. And this is one of those things you... This is why people are afraid of Kickstarter. Well, Kickstarter is a very good thing if a product gets funded, like we've seen Star Citizen get funded way beyond any imaginable amount of money, and the funding is still going. You know, Shenmue 3 got funded to its goal and obviously kept going. You know, Mighty Number no. 9 got funded, Bloodstain got funded. And those games you know are coming out, because despite the fact they even got funded, you know there's going to be backing behind them too. And so you know those company, those games are safe. But when you're talking about other games, for example, we're talking about Wolfie the Redwood Dry Diaries, uh, developer... Grin, G, capital G R G R, I don't know what, I, capital N, I couldn't get that out. Uh, not to be confused with the Bionic Commando developer, Grin. you got to get these right. The, their names are look differently even though they are spelled the same. Has filed bankruptcy and will not be able to fulfill Kickstarter pledges. Uh, and basically uh, what uh, Grin's uh, whim uh, wonder said, it's done, there's no way back. We tried, we failed. He wrote this on their website. Uh, the team is now dismantled. We have requested bankruptcy and be unable to pay outstanding bills. Wolfer explained that Grimm's public silence over the past few months following the release of the first chapter in the Wolfie uh, Red Wolf Diaries Adventures series this year was not uh, out of disrespect to fans, but rather it's out of shame. It's truly devastating to read negative comments we received by some press and players, he said. With Wolva being the most passion-driven thing we've ever created, it feels horrible to live with the feeling we let you down. Uh, Grimm itself was founded in 2002 by Wooders and two partners is no more. His two partners left in 2004. Uh, Grimm went through, uh, obviously it's been through a lot of ups and downs in sharing years. Worked on t 3D browser games. The studio at one time was making enough money to put aside some for what would become Wolfie, which obviously later they did Kickstarter. He said, the optimism in me led me to believe we could actually pull off making a bigger indie game, he said about Wolfie. I really wanted to prove an indie game did not have to render in pixels or stylize as a solution to cut development costs. I wanted to believe that a team of 6 to 10 people can make a game that looked and felt AAA. Boy, was I wrong. At first, we could not believe that our baby was, was not more successful in our emotions. We started looking for an explanation not related to the game, he added. Maybe gamers are just spoiled brats bashing on everything. Maybe there is an oversaturation of the indie market. Maybe all the free-to-play games by big studios are giving players a false sense of value. How could less than $10 be too expensive for a beautiful game like Wolfie? How could this be our fault? But in the end, Wooders admitted that Grin only had itself to blame for its struggles. Now, looking ahead, Wooders acknowledged that the Kickstarter awards, including the second chapter of the Wolfie Diaries will not see the light of day. This is the reality, despite some of the wards being basically ready to go out the door. It's just that Grimm has no money left. The crazy thing is we have most of the rewards ready for postage, Wooder said. All the backer stickers, letters of enlistment just need a stamp. All the posters seen, sets printed, signed, and ready. The art book is ready to be printed. The soundtrack is ready for distribution. The DVD cases is ready for production. We have literally no money whatsoever to pay for stamps let alone print, art books, and DVD cases. The timid response to the first meant that all, interest, all interested publishers have backed off the game, and the studio itself does not want the financial means to self-publish, Wooders says. Uh, the entire Woody IP, including the assets and source codes, have been handed over to bankruptcy lawyer, uh, was it Catherine Lenoy? Wooders said he would, not, he would like to see the series live on someday, but it's unclear how that would happen. And you could read Wooders' entire Fellwood address on his website. Uh, you know, Wolfie has been described basically as a cinematic fairy tale platform for PC. Again, you play obviously Robin Hood, Red Riding Hood, who is out for vengeance and basically is a drama with dark twist kind of story. Uh, the game was originally funded at Kickstarter, uh, basically, it got more than $72,000, and it was not very well received. Here's the thing, and here's my problem with all this. The they can't be sent out kind of bothers me because, okay, what they're doing is they're basically filing bankruptcy because they are doing this to save the company. That's why they're filing bankruptcy. They're doing this so they no longer have no liability to anybody. This is the disadvantage to Kickstarter because nowhere in Kickstarter does it legally say they're responsible for giving you anything. It says you give money and here's a promise and hopefully one day you'll get it. But once they file bankruptcy, all contracts are void. 
unless the bankruptcy lawyer were to say otherwise, which probably isn't going to happen in this case. What sucks is this stuff's ready to go. Why aren't they over time going to just send all this stuff out someday? See, this is what bothers me is basically, like the dude said, someday I hope I can send this stuff out to my, my, the backers back to the game. It's basically, we're done. Screw you guys. It's ready to go, but screw you. It's not going. Sorry. I don't want to spend my money. Even though you guys gave you $72,000 and we were dumb enough not to get the game out like we promised we would. We were not dumb enough to see how this was not going the way we wanted to early on and do things to ensure the game was coming out. Here's the catch. Before the first uh, episode was released, clearly there were third part, there were part, there were publishers interested in this series for them, right? And clearly they didn't want to give up the rights to it, right? I mean, this is what probably happened. If they had just clearly saw ahead of time this was not going well and got somebody to give them support because the games get financial support all the time it's not that hard the thing is they clearly wanted to keep this and they obviously it's not that they didn't care about it but you made a promise to your kickstarter backers they'd get the game that means you need to do anything possible to get them the game including if you have to make a deal with a publisher which allows you not to keep all the rights but to get the game out See, I'm completely bothered the fact that this stuff's ready to go. They're not. Good. They're just giving. They're like, no, we're done. We can't afford it. Instead of, hey, someday when I can afford it, I'll ship this out to you guys. This is what bothers me. You paid for this stuff. You legally donated it, and these these people just go, okay, bankruptcy done. Now somebody's probably gonna buy this, the Wolfie the Redwood Diaries, in bankruptcy for nothing, pennies. Like nothing. They're gonna. We're never gonna really know who probably got gets it anyway. This stuff happens all the time, and we never know. We don't really know, like you know, when uh, when you know uh, THQ got liquidated. We don't know where every single game went. Uh, Midway got liquidated. We don't know where every single franchise went. Over time, we end up finding out because people release those games again. But we don't know every where every game went. And so in this case, like this is all they have, and uh, they're done which is a shame, but it's a shame they didn't do something when they saw this was headed down this path. Or at least be honest with the people who backed your game. Hey, dude, you're going to get the first episode. We don't know if we're going to be able to afford episode two. Just be honest. That's all they had to do. And the fans would probably be like, you know, would have been more willing, but this leaves a negative taste in people who do Kickstarter uh, because they've gotten burned by you. You released the first episode, you didn't release everything, and this is the danger of Kickstarter. And listen, Kickstarter is a, is, is a good and bad thing. Okay, Kickstarter is good uh, when you, it's, it's, a lot of people now see it as a pre-order, and most of the games who were done this way have come out. But when one doesn't come out, it makes everybody look bad. So what do you guys think about this? Grin is the, who did the Wolfie Redwood Diaries is not going to give people their second episode. Is not going to give them the Kickstarter you know, bonuses they got for giving so much money that they were promised they get. You know, they're ready to go, but they can't afford it. What, do you, what does this make you feel about Kickstarter in general? Love to hear guys' opinions like always, and I'll make another video soon, guys. Later!